Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, cool. guys. So here's our garden. Kelly's been working feverishly at. Raven peeled all the cedar poles here, and um, we just built a new fence for it so the deer can't get in. Um, and everything's just growing and really we're starting to eat out of it. It's really, really fun right now. It's springtime here. But I don't, you guys in Florida always have lush things. Yeah, so. yeah, we have a short So here season. it's different, but. And then um, we're gonna check out the shop. So there is the existing shop and this is the addition here when we just built this over the last year. So that's the hot shop. So we'll go inside there. But first we're gonna go over to the existing shop in the studio. There's our house. There's our dog. Oh, well, there's our dog. Fishy, come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. So we could um, talk to you guys about this project. Uh, a couple years ago, we put on a Kickstarter a crowd crowdfunding campaign, and um, we were able to build this shop because of that. So this was the existing shop. This is still a construction zone, so you guys have to, oh, there's our plumbing. Um, but here's our gallery space. Let me put up some work for you guys to check out. So, so this is this is my work. Um, you'll see a, a couple of these in here and a couple of works in progress here too. But we'll just we'll just kind of move around. Here's a lobster that's in progress, and uh, oh yeah, Raven made these. Uh, antenna for me so they look really cool once they're on and they'll be detachable <laughs> yeah for, <laughs> for shipping purposes here we have a couple of um a couple wall pieces wall pieces of kelly's a little frog and butterfly and then these are um little silk screened glass birds. I did a really large installation of about nine feet across um, hundreds and hundreds of birds at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Um, when was that? I guess a year and a half ago now. <clears throat> and so now I'm making smaller vignettes with these. I'm make some cool, yeah. cool sounds. Almost like a wind chime. And they look really good in the window or in a little alcove indoors. And here's some more of these. Revolving pieces. Yeah, I won't do that all the way because it'll hit the window. The, um, the cool thing about these revolving castings, they're like hot cast and then sculpted afterwards that Kelly makes. And um, there's a, a lot of really fine detail, which I'm sure my phone will not do justice to, but there's decals with little things embedded in them. Little insects in there. And, yeah. yeah. And here is the Hawaiian monk seal. This is like a mama, mama monk seal. How's my audio, everyone? Can you give me a thumbs up if you're coming through good? Okay. Just, we're out in the sticks here, so. <laughs> There's another one. These go rotate. So these uh, little shells, um, I'll make them hot on the end of a, a punty rod, and then I'll slice them in half in the cold shop so they're they're all in halves. So um, then they'll be face down in a mold and I'll pour glass on top of them. So that's how that's done. And then these have little insect decals here too. So these are just kind of like nature, nature appreciation kind of specimens. A little study. Yeah. yeah. This is, um, this piece is actually from my personal archive and it's going to a museum show. 
so this isn't for sale, but I wanted to show it because I do have it here in the studio and um, it's it's something that could possibly be commissioned or, you know, so. And then this is this is also going to museum show and it's from my personal archive. So I just wanted to share an example of of the sea turtle. And this piece is massive. We made it at the Museum of yeah, Glass. It's kind of it's kind of hard to tell the scale of it, but it's quite large. And you got the baby over there. Yeah, I'll come back to okay. it. Do you want to turn that light on? Oh yeah. Here's a collaborative piece from Kelly and I. We did. Uh, I think um, the gallery actually has a really similar piece to this right now. Um, is that right, Mary? You guys have a similar piece to you this. You have to unmute her. She she has to unmute herself. Oh. Um, we do. Area. We do. And I also want to say that all of these pieces that they are showing are, um, you know, they're showing them for us right now during this tour, and they're available for us if anyone has any questions. So, yeah. Aside from those last two pieces of mine that I should just The turtle showed. and the seahorse, yeah. Yeah. But um, you did say that you this were is, to uh, do commissions on those as well. Commissions, yes. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. Sure. So just for scale, I'm going to put, put my hand here. And... Yeah, this is a smaller humpback whale. <laughs> so um, it's, it's a really nice piece. This piece um, is not quite finished. I do sandblast the marine mammals, so it'll end up with a, a little, it'll take the sheen off of the, that glassy look and make it look a little bit more like mammal skin, just a little. And then and then the light. This is, a, this is a large scale piece, the mother and calf. And um, this, the mother's own, almost 40 inches long so and this is wall mounted so it just goes with a bracket um, onto a stud and then and then it's uh, it's all supported by that armature off the wall so okay and then, and then there's another, there's sure another revolving piece here shine it over here a bit on front yeah Sorry, our, li <laughs> our lighting situation is pretty tough. So this is, yeah, just another one of these. I have a really nice professional shot um, of this that you'll see in the slideshow. Um, Here, try to get at that the end. to pop. Yeah, oh, yeah there, you there go. we go. You can see it better. Yeah. Just needs the light. But these come out, just in case you're curious, these come out. Um, for shipping and to move around, so it's easy to do that. Yeah, they're pretty heavy pieces. Yeah. But but yeah, they're easy to move around because of that. And then, um, oh yeah, I passed over the baby sea turtle. So this piece is in progress, um, and it's all in its separate parts right now, and the shell goes with it. So the egg shell will be cut open, it will look like it's cracked, and then the turtle will be crawling around. And so this is, it's got white on the interior, and it's got a, a dark gray, transparent gray on the exterior. So um, I'm gonna put tape on it and sandblast it and get to the negative space will be that white underneath. So. So and baby that's, sea turtle. that's the reason why Raven has to make those um, baby sea turtles and the big ones in parts so that um, so that we can tape everything off. I help him sometimes um, when he needs help but um, so we yeah. can tape the parts off and then put them back in the kiln and heat them back up to bring up. That's how you get that really nice reptilian and then it, it's kind, kind of, of look. Yeah and it softens that hard um, sandblasted edge and it just makes it look more natural when you heat it back up after taping it off. So, so, um, so that's pretty much what we have but we wanted to just if you bear with me for a second we wanted to um, 
do a little slideshow of some professional shots of what Mary and Duncan have there at the Duncan McClellan Gallery and um, maybe a couple extra. and a couple examples of things like we have one piece of Kelly's that um, it's here but it's we it's, we couldn't hang because it's too massive and we're doing the insulation right now so <laughs> so yeah hold on bear with me for one second I'm just gonna bring this up Are they, are they, can they see the screen sharing right now? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I don't think. Maybe, can we unmute? Oh, shoot. Almost there, okay. Okay, can you guys? Is that sideways? Yeah, I'll, I'll. Does that look good, you guys? Here we go. Perfect. Oh, okay. You guys thanks. can see that. Great. Yeah. So there's the baby sea turtle. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's the finished product of the baby sea turtle. So that's that's once all the sandblasting is done, and then we heat all the parts back up and stick it together and build it um, into a whole turtle. <laughs> <laughs> This is an example of the mother and calf. Um, Mary, are you unmuted right now? I am right now, yeah. Okay, great, because I just can't see anyone or hear anyone or anything. Yeah, so, stay with us. So <laughs> I just want to make sure everything's coming through. Um, so this is the mother and calf. It's, a, it's an example of kind of like that piece that's wall mounted. Obviously, it's a little different. Um, and then, it also shows the sandblasted finish, so you get that kind of skin texture. So, and here's a piece that Mary and Duncan have in their space, in Duncan's space there. And um, this is a say whale detail. Mary, is that all coming through and looking good? It is, it is. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. And that's at the gallery. And this is a, actually, this is an example of a piece that you guys have at the gallery there, but it's, it's almost the exact same color, but the piece you have at the gallery is another humpback, which is, in my estimation, a much more dynamic form. And, is it the uh, homeward better, piece? Better proportions. Yeah, the homeward piece. I didn't yeah. have a professional shot of that, so I just wanted to share an example of that finish. Um, it has a little color. bit more uh, uh, action in the body. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's, it's a nicer piece all around. But the color is almost exactly identical to this one, I think. So uh, this is another piece that you guys have there. And this is unique I that it's that it's small-ish, but it's, uh, it's solid. And that's why it's small. And that's why it kind of glows like that. It because it doesn't the have, light, yeah. Yeah, it just kind of absorbs in the light and then re-emits it because it has that optical quality of solid glass. So, so that's kind of something new-ish for me, which I, I've been enjoying just the, just the optical quality of glass and the simplicity of less color. So that's kind of a little bit of a new direction. And it just, it just plays in the light so well. It's like and the water, the sun and the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's so pretty. Yeah, and if you have it in a place with natural light, it really is amazing. And, and then here's uh, Kelly's work. So she's going to talk you through that. Okay, guys. So this is a piece that um, Duncan and Mary just, just had in the gallery, and it's sold. But I wanted to put an example there for you for um, the direction that I want to go as soon as we get this studio um, built and up and running it's built we're just getting the guts in right now so there's a lot of work to do but um this would be something i'd like to work towards like if you guys had any commission ideas or anything like that that's that's where i would want to go and then this um these shell forms that are do that i do are, are called ammonites this is um this has some carving down around the the bottom edge and this is available, these next couple are available at the gallery. 
Um, yeah, this one's this one's at the gallery. I think this one you're kind of looking almost. Um, it's kind of a funny angle, but it's uh, it's kind of a neat angle too. I like the way they looked at it there, taking that photo. And then this one's at the gallery too. Um, also at the gallery, they have a few of these um, um, amber drops. So they're solid glass drops that have maybe little semblances of insects or or little flakes of um, of shiny things or bubbles and and they also I also make them in blue. So I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah, that's another thing that's like really optically amazing with the glass. It just like does so many things with light. Yeah, and exploits that. Yeah, amazing. I've been doing these in different sizes, um, just different group sizes for people, and um, they really like what what it does in the light. It's really fun. So this is that piece over by Raven's Whales. Just a nice professional shot of it, which I would prefer you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's hard to, yeah, it's just hard to get the right um, background when you have all this construction work and funky drywall up and stuff like that. This was the first one you saw. And then this is a, a, a mirror mosaic that I, um, at the Pittsburgh Glass Center, what I had a show there a couple years ago. And that's, it comes apart in five different pieces and it's about nine feet wide by eight feet tall. Really neat piece, just a lot of kids love to walk up to it. I'm looking for maybe a public space for it or something, I don't know, but I just wanted to show you guys that because it makes people happy. And you can see the blue drops reflecting in it right now. It's kind of neat, but, oh, but cool. the mosaic is, um, it's kind of a different, yeah, you can change it back to us. Kind of a different thing for me to try, but I really like it. And I think once we get the shop running here, I'd like to do some maybe uh, projects with kids and, and the community here um, doing mosaic because it's so accessible. So we'll, we'll see if we can get that running at some point. So uh, that's the studio and then we were thinking we'd just give you a really quick tour of what we've really been working on yeah does that sound good mary yeah yeah i think it's very really interesting yes it's very interesting um not only are you amazing glass artists but you work so hard in every other aspect of your life and your studio is really really amazing so we're going into the hot shop right now and actually, since I talked to you and Duncan, um, this, we've actually insulated. So we made progress since we last talked. So this is the hot shop all insulated. And how large is that, uh, Raven? Uh, let's see. It's, uh, it's 32 by 39. So it's 39 feet wide and 32 feet out from the existing shop. Um, and that's a 10 by 12 garage door that Kelly's standing in right there. So um, this is this is the existing building that we built off of. And so next is drywall. Um, and then we have a pile of equipment here. This is our glass furnace. It's an electric melt, uh, 300 pound. It'll hold 300 pounds of molten glass in there. And that's gonna go right over there where it says gather. Because <laughs> that's what we call it when you get the glass out of the furnace. And there's a, a bunch of scaffolding, so it's kind of hard to see visually on the computer, I think. But there's another um, 10 by 12 door. And so yeah. this was this was mostly funded by that Kickstarter that we did, and at least a couple of you I know that are watching um, donated to this in really big ways. So. This is this is what you did, and it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to finish it. Yeah, now we have to finish it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're we're getting there. We're working hard, and um, it's so we're so close. We just yeah, we just have a little bit left to do. This is going to be our sandblasting room, so an air compressor, loud loud dirty room, 
and um, mm, we're gonna have um, yeah these garage doors will will be uh, glass so that we can have them open and work and still have light and that is our cold shop but I'm not gonna take you in there because there's so much equipment in there it's just a mess because we had to move everything for the installators so we got like a glory hole in there and two garages and a bunch of equipment but we'll check out one last spot so, so this is uh, our little apartment we've been working on for uh, guest artists, possible teachers if we do little classes and or our um, interns or whatever, whoever's gonna come stay with us and help us out hopefully. So we've been working on framing up here and wiring and uh, there's gonna be a little kitchenette where Kelly's standing and bathroom, bedroom, closet, and yeah, a little dining area. So maybe we should just so, take questions up here because we're close. Yeah. Good reception here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have have any questions. Um, Mary, maybe you can help us um, with this part because we have a screen that only sees four People yeah, four at, people at a time. At one time. So maybe this is where you can help us um, choose who's raising hands. Certainly. Because, um, yeah, we, we, we can't see everybody at once. Um, Duncan has a question. No, didn't you have a question? Oh, okay. All right. Um, you know, I want to say thank, uh, thank you. You know, we, we were always uh, hoping for more work, you know, but now that we see what you've really been working at, we know uh, where all your energy and time has been put. And um, we're really hoping at some point in the future to uh, visit you there with whomever might want to join us and maybe do a class or um, Duncan's heard of you have heard of this idea before, right, Duncan? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, so it's really exciting to, to see everything in progress. Um, does anyone have any questions about uh, Raven and Kelly's process or what they're, you know, what this whole time uh, working kind of in isolation has been like for them? <laughs> you you want to talk? Dale? It's Dale. Oh. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, Raven? Yeah, ask, and Kelly. Ask, ask. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, it's been it's been difficult for sure, and I think it's been difficult for the glass community at large because we're non-essential, <laughs> and uh, we are also we work in teams, so blowing on pipes and and sharing everything. No good. <laughs> so so there's been no glass blowing for several months and we I was telling Duncan we didn't even work before that because uh because it was the holidays and there and New Year's and all that well stuff and we too, were also so. focusing on this shop so much and working working on building this that we weren't making a lot of work yeah so that's another reason why yeah. so we're we're definitely feeling like we really want to push to get the um get the shop finished so we can be making glass like if we were if Kelly and I were stuck here um and the shop was finished we'd be making stuff right now so it'd be perfect <laughs> yeah it would actually and we have plenty of projects as you can see so we're staying busy and uh and we were lucky that that uh we we're in such a place that we were able to kind of continue with some of the building and stuff and we do a lot of the building ourselves so uh and and we have really talented family members and stuff who have been helping us with the and construction Ren, and stuff. our son ren's been helping us a little bit too He's nine, he'll be 10 this year, and uh, he went on a bike ride. Uh, he should be back soon, so I hope you guys get to see him. Um, how far are you from the mainland, and, and I, have you been able to travel to Seattle? Uh, we haven't left in the past mm -mm. close to two months, month and a half, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, But we, we raised pigs last year, so we have what's left of a pig in the freezer, and. We just got a lamb and the garden's growing good and we're pretty like we're okay. stoked. Yeah. And we can, I mean, we can buy stuff or we can get stuff from the mainland still, so. I'd like to address that a little bit of what we're doing uh, mm -hmm. in the gallery. Um, 
uh, we're trying all different ways to do outreach. And until it's safe, we're not going to be the open public place that we've been in the past. Uh, yeah. For our special patrons, our special friends, yes, they can come over, we, but we will only be seeing them. And we are adhering to all the um, CDC things and well beyond. Uh, yeah. We're endeavoring to do a whole sanitation system. Uh, we've got about half of it completed. But we're not going to be comfortable until this whole thing is passed. But for individuals that want to come over, we would love to see you. We miss you. And just come over and say hi. Uh, th that would mean a lot to us. And it's only going to be you. Because uh, we're, we're not going to make this public. Now, after a while, we will allow or uh, have a situation on our, our website where people can reserve to come over. But uh, we're going to keep it pretty close. We've got to keep our, our staff and our friends and our patrons safe. And so once we have all that in process, process and completed, uh, we'll, we'll be on the other side of this. But until that time, we're going to be really safe. So you can visit us, just uh, wear a mask. Uh, <laughs> there'll be a procedure, and uh, we look forward to seeing you, even if it's just your eyes. Yeah, and I think I think Duncan, that that must be super hard because you guys are so geared toward, you know, making a copacetic place for people to be and have it out there and all of the things that make it just my heart goes out to you guys and I think that that it's really got to be kind of tough <laughs> but, yeah. but but I appreciate you being super smart and and you know t taking everyone's health and and safety in mind it's that's super important and being so. able to gather like this is actually just such a treat you know it's really a treat for us just feeling kind of cut off from the rest of the world so we, we really appreciate that. I don't know. It's kind of contrived, but it's okay. It, it works. So. Thank, thanks, everybody. And if you have any questions, um, we're happy to answer them and also happy to uh, have another dialogue with Raven and Kelly um, if you have more questions, too. Um, and thank you for joining us. This is the first of a series that we'll be doing every week. Um, next week, we're visiting uh, Richard Jolly and Tommy Rush, and then after that, Stefan Pond. Uh, so uh, we'll keep everybody in, uh, informed, and um, hopefully this can be a way that we can maintain our community and keep in touch with our artists and all of you, um, because everybody is so special. We all are so special to each other, and yeah, we need to great. all build, you know, stay in touch and keep uh, helping the artists do what they do. It's really, really important. So thank you. Thank Does you guys. Does anyone else have any questions? Okay. You, any questions? Hey, Dan. Hey, thanks, Raven hey, and Kelly, good. so much for spending the time. Really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, super fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.